Well, it's time for a very sad walk time blog. As many of you know, I have a company called Freetronics, which makes uh, open hardware electronics, like Arduino compatible stuff, boards and modules, all sorts of cool things like that. But this morning I saw something that made me really sad. Now to explain why it makes me sad, I've got to show you something first. Have a look at this. So this is a kit, it's a package of parts that Freetronics produces. So it's got an Arduino compatible board in here and a whole lot of other parts. So it's the experimenter's kit for Arduino. It comes with a whole bunch of different things. And I don't, this is not intended to be a sales pitch. This is just showing you what there is in here because it's important in a moment. So we've got this box. This box actually was designed by my friend Mark. Um, he laid it all out in Illustrator um, with all of the cutting angles and everything that's necessary to make it. And it was obviously designed to suit the Freetronics logo and you know, space for everything. Um, he also designed this foam which is cut out specially for us. And it's got all the different parts in here. So there's the Arduino, various other bits and pieces, buttons, LEDs, uh, breadboard, jumpers. And um, there's also a guide that I wrote that goes with it. So if you open it up, there is this project guide with a whole lot of things that starts off with telling you what the different parts are that are inside it. And then it's got projects, tells you how to set up the software, controlling an LED, how it works, it's got all these diagrams, goes through a whole bunch of things, explanations of how the code works. So the idea is that you can give someone this and it gives them everything they need to start messing around with Arduino. Now that is um, something that we've been producing for quite a few years now and um, many many thousands of these have been sold through our resellers including JCAR stores. And then just this morning I saw this. Look familiar much? So this is not ours. Um, Duino Tech is a brand that's owned by uh, the company that owns JCAR. So this is basically like a JCAR in-house brand. And so what they've done is taken our kit and um, sent it off to uh, someone in China and said, we want you to copy this. So they produced this kit. And if we open it up, you can see that the box is pretty much identical. And obviously we've, we've never given them the Illustrator files for these. So someone uh, at JCAR or their supplier has sat down with a ruler and measured this box and then they've recreated it. And you can see they haven't got the curves right. It's pretty rough. So they've actually sat down and relayed out the entire box and they've gone to the trouble of even matching the curve where our logo goes for this space up here. But then of course, because they don't have the Freetronics logo on here, they've just put some other text in there. So it could not be much more of a blatant ripoff. And opening it up, you can see that they've got the same layout, all the same stuff inside. They've got their um, Chinese clone Arduino in there all the same parts. They've even arranged it the same with the four buttons pushed in there. And once again, we haven't given them the design files for the foam. So they've measured our foam and made up their own dies and they've cut it all to be exactly the same. Um, so that in itself is kind of annoying to say the least. But, you know, one of the nice things about the one that we produced is that it's got this project guide, which, um, which I wrote with some help from John Boxall that many of you would know from Tronics Labs and Tronics stuff. And um, surely they wouldn't have gone so far as to rip that off as well. Oh yes they did. So I'll put this aside. So that's my original project guide. And this is theirs. Oh look, table of contents is basically the same thing. They have sat down Someone, one, someone there has sat down and typed in the contents from my guide and they've just directly ripped it off. So in mind it starts with an explanation of all the parts, explanation of all the parts, software and getting started. So that's a direct copy of mine. In fact, they've, you can see it's a word for word copy. Oh, they've just changed a couple of words here, but the links are the you know, it's all the same. 
projects are the same. Oh look, they actually ripped off my um, my image. I hadn't noticed that, so so they've recreated this image and taken the Freetronics branding off it, obviously. But it's basically the same thing. In fact, I wonder if it looks like they've edited the original image. I think they may have taken the original. They probably grabbed the PDF of this because we make this available for download as a PDF. And they've copied out the image and then they've essentially photoshopped it to take, make sure that Freetronics isn't mentioned in there anywhere. And it goes like that all the way through. So it's just a direct blatant ripoff. And then they've changed the back. In ours, we had some resources. So in here, more information and getting help. So we direct people to the guide that goes for the experimenters kit and um, our forum um, and a couple of books. So there's uh, my book and John Boxall's book and a link to Hacker Spaces if someone wants help. And they've just removed all references of, to any of our stuff, of course, and just had a link to JCAR. So go to oh, JCAR oh, and the Hacker Spaces. And that's it. Um, oh, resistor color codes. Interesting. Wow, look at that. So this graphic that you see here, so this is in my original guide. I spent many, many hours sitting with Adobe Illustrator laying this out. So this graphic is actually my original work and they've just directly ripped it. Presumably they ripped it from the PDF and used it exactly as is. So it couldn't be much more of a blatant copy than that. So that's why I'm feeling sad. And some of you will probably be saying, what can you do about it? Can you sue them or whatever? Well, it's kind of not really worth it. I mean, the very first interaction that I ever had with um, the owner of JCAR was when he called me one day uh, because JCAR were wanting to sell my book, Practical Arduino. And he was asking me to send him the PDF of the book so that he could get it printed because he didn't want to have to buy them from the publisher. Um, and I said at the time, you can't do that because even though I have the copyright on the book because I'm the author of it, there is a contract with the publisher. They have exclusive distribution rights. So you have to buy it from the legitimate channels. And his response was basically that he didn't care. So what are my options? Not really a lot, um, except to feel sad about it. That's just the way it goes uh, when people do business and they don't have ethics. So if you are buying an Arduino um, experimenters kit and you get this one, um, basically you're ripping me off. So please don't. Please buy the Freetronics one instead. Thanks.